Hi there, this is Sam Brown from Paperstone Instruments and talking you through the clap today. The clap is a very simple virtual instrument from Paperstone Instruments and it basically involves um, the use of different amounts of people clapping and different mic positions. So let's, uh, let's start off with the number of people clapping. There is simply uh, one person clapping on C, uh, C3 and uh, we move right up Uh, the keyboard here uh, to C4 where we end up with 13 people clapping so you really can select how many people you want clapping from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 in your track so it gives you a great deal of uh, flexibility the other thing which is very flexib flexible is selecting the mic uh, that you like the sound of so uh, the centre mics or close mics um, a very dry, very close in, and sound uh, sound very tight. The center mic, uh, the stereo mic rather, is positioned further back and was actually three mics in a decatree formation, uh, summed to uh, a stereo pair, which uh, sound nice and balanced, and you get a real sense of the natural space of the room. Um, but then position further back to get even more of that room tone is uh, the room mics there. So you can really mix and match um, exactly where you want the clappers to uh, to be in the mix, which is a, a really great feature. On the right of that, you have the release, so you can sort of shorten up the uh, shorten up the clap. Uh, next up is the machine clap section. Now this was uh, really put in to augment the natural claps. So you can add a little bit of crunch there or pop as I call it for a more poppy clap and the more classic 909 and 808 samples. So you can use these subtly along with the natural clap, um, natural clap up here or you can start off with uh, say an 808 and then use the natural claps to augment that and beef it up a bit. Okay, so next up is the filter section, which only affects the natural claps. And you can hear the low pass filter there doing what a low pass filter should and the high pass filter rolling off the low end uh, there just for a bit of uh, thinning of the clap. Uh, so it's very simple. Uh, at the moment the global button is pressed in which means that these filters will affect all three of our mic positions at the same time but we can um, allow one of the claps to come through um, and be edited separately so if we edit the center or close mics you can just hear just the low pass filter affecting that center and we can use this um, to really shape the sound. We can make a darker room, for example, which uh, again can just help the clap to fit your mix. Um, last but not least is the reverb section. This is uh, uh, this has basically got all the the settings from the palm mute piano. Uh, all ten reverbs in this drop down. You switch it on with this switch here and uh, you have the control of the dry and wet signals with these two uh, rotary faders here. So that is the clap. Uh, it's available now from samplism.com. Uh, you can go there to find out more um, and to listen to some more examples of it. I hope you've enjoyed uh, listening today and watching this, uh, this video. And uh, yeah, check it out. Cheers.